Good morning. Yeah. So it's very energizing to have you here every year. And um, I can see the energy. I can see the buzz. I can sense the growth. I can see the promise. And that's why it is driving the energy. I think it's so good to see you every year. Uh, I think a special welcome to the people who have come from abroad and uh, uh, all the people who have traveled to be here and all of you which uh, make this event very meaningful and all the team of NASCOM who has really worked very hard to make it, you know, net zero event. Uh, it's not easy to do it. So great applause to each one of you. So, as I mentioned, I think uh, uh, if, uh, if you look at uh, the, what is driving this uh, uh, buzz, what is driving this energy, is a lot of things which, has, which have happened in the world, right? Uh, last decade, uh, or a little, little beyond, but almost a decade, we really saw the prominence of real electric car, right? Uh, uh, and of course, Tesla was the premier one and now followed by almost everyone. We saw big changes in the space area. We had never imagined before. And there are many things which are happening. Almost everything is getting intelligent. And you could never imagine that every thing will think, like every ring or everything is getting intelligent and that is driving thing. So it is about how everything can become intelligent and will make the change for the next decades or so. I'm very excited about it. But if you look at here, pure India side, there are things which have happened and we need to be very proud of. I think it is always great. And some of these unbelievable achievements we had, unbelievable achi achievements we had, which was uh, Chandrayaan, right? I think all of you know, and last uh, year we saw the ladies themselves uh, on the South Pole. Uh, we saw the unmanned uh, trial for DRDO unmanned uh, uh, vehicle and uh, many more things. And uh, the UPI adopted by many countries like uh, UK, France and many other countries. It's a great acknowledgement of the expertise or the innovation at here, what we have done. But I may say it is just a start the opportunity is much bigger and I do think that we have just started the journey and the opportunity is far bigger. The only issue about the technology is if we don't grab it, somebody else. So it is about how we capture this, uh, this uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, I talked about why everything is being driven by technology. It is mainly driven by intelligent and sustainability drives. So ERD will continue to spend across. I mean, if you really look at what it is in this world where everything is right now, re recently you can see is uh, um, seeing a timid growth. Uh, the, this area, we are looking at a CAGR of 9 to 10 percent in the overall ERD spend. And most of that is driven by multiple things, software, healthcare, automotive, semiconductor, industrial, and many major sectors. There is, I don't see any sector who doesn't have, uh, you know, uh, the, which is not impacted by these two trends, intelligent and uh, uh, sustainable. So, U US is, uh, again, uh, uh, your, actually Asia is the highest spender, followed by Americas and followed by uh, Asia. Now, naturally, APAC has China in it, which is a large part of it. But uh, I guess all the other countries are also catching with that. But if you really look at this, so this ERD sourcing in India is growing by 16%. Uh, but I would like to call out two things, what I'm, I'm not happy about. Here, if you look at it, 2023, it is 270 billion is the total spend. And in 2030, we are looking at 700 billion. India's, India's share uh, going up from 42.3 to 170, which is great, which is growing faster. But I'm seeing what we are living on table, which is more than 400 billion. And this is not the world which is in, of incremental growth. 
what if you come out with the products, if you come out with the technology, we can really disrupt those kind of things. And that's where I actually see this is how it is predicted. And naturally, if we do this, it is great. But I believe the opportunity is much, much bigger. And that's what we have to see what we can do and how we build the ecosystem to address that. And especially in the wake of what India at, at this juncture is. And I must say that in the engineering sector, I think one of the things which we have seen is the GCC has contributed 57% to India's ER and DR sourcing. But, and one important part which we all should be very, very proud of, it, ER and D sector contributed to 48% of the total exports, uh, exports last year, 48%. So that it, it has really, really, I think it's a proud moment for us. So Destination India Advantage, the only thing I want to do, we talked about the global. I must tell you, and I may warn you, <laughs> that India is a very big opportunity which we are not really looked into. Because it is the market which is growing fast. If you look at anything, whether it is uh, tech, uh, automobile or you look at medical devices, consumer electronics, it's a top five market for everything. And this opportunity is basically even for Indian companies for actually market as a India is huge. I'm not talking now about export. And this is basically, as we all know, it's the third, uh, third largest economy beyond uh, USA and uh, uh, USA and China. But I think this is the market and the opportunity, I believe we can really make and see how we can do that. The reason I'm telling you, is I really look at the tech companies who are ahead in the technology. Whether it is USA, it was based on the US market. If I look at China, it has come out on Chinese market. If you look at Germany, they have come into German market. And they created large companies, tech companies, core research tech companies based on that. I think that is the opportunity India has. And if we do that, that will really impact the world. So as I said, if you really look at uh, this uh, journey, it is about inclusion and sustainable. So basically moving from mechanical, electrical, uh, digital engineering, etc., is covered. But I think the core engineering part, the core intelligent part is improving more. And I think we need to capture. In my view, I always believe the opportunity is bigger than it is shown on the board. Because many of these spent will replace hardware, will replace some of the suppliers. And that's why this, this data which is there is, does not necessarily cover is what my belief is, the opportunity is bigger. Uh, and uh, the other disruption which has happened, which of course everybody knows and no need to talk about is the AI, which has really uh, has created another opportunity. And as you know, India is the house for the largest number of AI experts. So I think with both this, this opportunity is very big. This is across the industry, across the area. I'm not talking about defense. I'm not talking about space, which will be a huge opportunity. But beyond that, these are the technology disruption if you look at whether it is uh, in the, uh, happening uh, in terms of uh, automation, quantum technology, semiconductor, uh, you know, deep tech, cybersecurity driven by the startups ecosystem, driven by the global enterprises which are here, driven by the companies which are here, it is huge. And this is where basically I believe it is a double opportunity driven by AI and driven by making products intelligent. And with our growing economy, I think almost every product will be intelligent. And that will drive this growth. As you know, there is a commitment of the world towards 2050, uh, according to Paris government about uh, net zero. It's a very important, I think it is not about the agreement, it is about the planet. It is for us, it is for the future generation. We are seeing the crazy rents which we are getting. And I think this is not something which needs to be uh, taken very lightly and this is going to be one of the most important part. And that's why the energy transition is the way, mega trend as we know. And it is expected that the energy transition will more than triple by the end of the uh, century, uh, by the end of the decade, sorry, by the end of the decade. 
And when you talk about the energy transition, it is about clean energy, transmission and distribution, energy and storage, and EV transport infrastructure. And all the governments are uh, basically giving these incentives. Basically, government is uh, giving, uh, you know, uh, uh, creating the readiness, enablement, but it is a strategic priority. And my, my view is, uh, in everything, because people want to reduce the cost, they want to be competitive. It is about sustainability, because how do you reduce the materials in a product? It is about, so everything is about sustainability. And uh, the second thing is whatever is energy and whatever is moving will require uh, this uh, substantially. And looking at the needs which we have, looking at the investments which we have, all the estimates, this is a huge opportunity in the world because we are looking at 90% of the energy to come from the alternate sources by 2050. So, or green sources, I would say. So coming with that, I just want to uh, give you some view about what we are doing, right? This is what good talk. What else? So while there are many things to do, I think there is something we have to do ourselves and every company. And I truly believe this opportunity is uh, uh, really once in a lifetime. But as an as a association, as a, a association, as a council members, uh, as a members, we are trying to drive three things which will help the, you know, the India as well as the global world, uh, global, global, is innovation because I think the key point is we have to establish ourselves as an innovative company and not as an outsourcing destination. And there is a big gap because right now our innovation index, etc., is not necessarily as established. Uh, while there are use cases, the data is still, uh, you know, we have to improve quite a bit on that index in order to be recognized in that direction. Uh, there are many metrics we are trying to collect and I would really suggest each one of you who is here, please do reach out to us and we would like to make sure that you co collaborate in this space uh, so that we can really establish a good ma uh, metrics and of course that will help your organization and that will help the industry for benchmarking. The second part we believe with that is the research is going to be very important. I think the innovation comes with also the research part and we believe that uh, uh, the re re there has to be a research enablement every time we talk about to uh, government, we even every talked about to companies, I think it is very important to improve. Our research expenditure by individual companies is also very low. It's less than half percent for many companies in India. It is less than one percent for most of the companies. And I think the opportunity is significant. I mean, just to put a uh, comparison, China uh, uh, numbers are more than more than 20 times of the R&D ex expenses, the, the, the way they spend. I think it is very important as a company first to start spending. And uh, of course, uh, the government has taken initiative. There are a lot of research funds which are coming. But that is what is important for us to change this uh, positioning. The second is the industry growth. Uh, uh, the ERND has been a great growth driver, but in order to do that, I think we have to uh, do more evangelism. That's what we intend to do. And uh, uh, overall, with these two parts, last but not last is uh, the talent development. So this is the areas which we have taken. We have a concrete plan and uh, we have a three-year plan which uh, the uh, uh, NASCOM uh, Council and ERND Council is driving doing a great job, but I think it will take for, we, we really are looking forward to help from you and cooperation as well as uh, uh, contribution from you to make this happen. I may just say last sentence is, I truly believe the ERND, uh, the next, not only this decade, but many decades, if not the century, belongs to ERND. And it will not only drive the tech industry, but manufacturing and all other industries. So. I think I'm pretty excited and hopefully we can do it together. Thank you. For more content on tech and leadership, subscribe to NASCOM YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.